All right, you know what time it is? It's time to pour some hot metal in a hole time. So anyway, on one of my videos, I did a peace sign. It's one of my first ones. And I think I want to try and start selling some of my castings. So this one right here, it's kind of cool, but it, it's hard to polish the insides with the polisher, especially right here. And then the other thing too is there's no, there's no way to really hang it up. It's kind of just a piece that would just have to sit there. So for this one, I decided to make a hollow piece sign. That way I can actually put some leather or something in there to hold it and then hang it on a wall. It also uses a lot less metal, so it'd be a little less expensive to cast. And the other thing I decided to do was I was going to make some more F-bombs. I got some friends that liked my F-bombs from the video. And so instead of packing a large box for one F-bomb, I decided to make some casting flasks that would more appropriately fit it. So I made two of these guys right here, and I'm going to try one of them out in this video. And uh, they just have little pins on them that come out that hold it together. And then the handles, you can kind of see the handles. Those were cut out on my mill, just using a mill bit and coming in and swooping it out. So, um, and then for the, for the little bevel on the sides, I went ahead and used a wood router for that. So we'll try, we'll try out the little casting flask to make some F-bombs that I owe some people. And then we'll go ahead and try and make a more of a decoration of a peace sign. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here we go. It's time to pack it up. So I just used talc on this part. Um, I use baby powder for the parting powder, but for this I use talc because it seems to slip off better. Also in my last video that I did, um, I realized using fresh brand new sand for the facing sand works really well. Um, I got the finish back. There was a few videos where I used pre-used sand that I used for other molds and other castings and it just didn't work as well. So for now on, I'm probably gonna use, I'm gonna sprinkle on the uh, new sand for facing sand every time. Other thing, compressed air is great. Really gets stuff out of there and that's, that's what causes some pitting in your castings is when you have leftover sand fall into the mold. Again, the parting powder there was just the baby powder. That's just regular sand. It's not the it's not brand new facing sand just because I could care less what the back looks like. So for this casting for gits and shiggles, I thought I'd just go ahead and um, make a sprue using a pipe instead of using the tapered sprue that I normally do. Um, I just wanted to see how it's going to work because it's a lot easier than try and balance a little tapered sprue with your finger as you pack sand around it. Again, I'm still going to make a basin, so I think it's going to work out fine. We'll see. Next time, to make it easier, I think I'm gonna mark off how deep the casting flask is and put some tape around the um, tube that I used to make the sprue and the riser. And that way I don't have to kind of guess at it, make it a lot easier. Again, using lots of air to clean out every bit of the uh, mold that I'm making so that way there's no loose sand in there to make pitting onto the part. And that looked pretty clean. That fell out really well and you can see that the uh, pattern should come out great. Again, I'm just using uh, a car rim for this one and maybe some leftover aluminum. Again, just checking the temperature, I like to kind of get an idea where I'm at. Also, I pull it out a little hot, so that way I have time to set up the camera angles, which I did not do. I missed a close-up of the pour on this time. Maybe next time I'll get a better close-up. 
On the other side, I have another flask. Uh, some of my friends wanted me to make them some F-bombs. So I went ahead and uh, packed up another flask with an F-bomb pattern in it. Um, but I didn't think I'd waste your time showing packing it up since I've done that video with an F-bomb already. And if you want to see it packed up, you can check out that video and see how it turns out. Here we go. Let's see how it worked. Turned out pretty good. You can see at the top, there's a little bit of ridge on the outside. I'm gonna have to clean up on the belt sander. It looked like there was a little tear out in the pattern. See, there it is right there. Otherwise, it looks pretty good. I'll be able to clean that up pretty good on the mill and the belt sander and polish it up. That was a good casting. And let's check out and see how the F-bomb did. And there's no fins on it. Wonderful. I think in the rush, I forgot to put little air holes off from the fins to uh, allow the aluminum to flow in. So the people that I owe an F-bomb to is still the same amount of people I owe an F-bomb to. There we go. Now it's all cleaned up. has a little leather hanger on it so it can hang on a nail. And if your house is like my house, there's probably already a nail in the wall. You just have to take one of your wife's decorations down and replace it with yours. I think that looks pretty good. I'll leave that there. And that was my Mentos commercial look right there where they turn around and give the thumbs up. Overall, I think the casting turned out pretty good. I think I'm going to make some more and try and sell them. And um, I appreciate everybody that has subscribed to my channel and supports me. And if you'd like to subscribe to my channel and help me out too, that'd be great. Thanks for watching my video. Take care.